Hello everyone and welcome back to the daily physics. Today our video will be so informative because after watching this video you will easily understand what displacement current is and what conduction current is. So keep on watching and watch till the end and now we move on to what conduction current that what conduction current is. So you can see in the conduction current that there is a conduction in its name. It means that this current is because of conduction. When the current flows through any conductor, this conduction current occurs. This conduction current is simply a current flowing through any conductor. There is no science about that and uh, it's given by the Ampere's law. Uh, we look by Ampere's law how this conduction current is equal to what this conduction current is equal to. So we move on to the Ampere's law now. So in the Ampere's law, you know that Ampere's law states that when a current flows through a conductor, it creates a magnetic field uh, which can be known by which you can calculate the direction of the magnetic field by the right hand grip rule that your thumb is indicating the direction of current and the curl of your fingers are the showing the direction of magnetic field. So moving on to the mathematical derivation from the Ampere's law that how to calculate that I enclose and how to calculate that B. So you can see on your screen that Ampere's law is equal to the line integral over a closed surface of vector b dot ds. This ds is representing the element of that loop, a small element of that loop, and it is equal to that mu naught i. Here, if we integrate the whole of that loop, the circumference of a circle, you know that it is equal to 2 pi r. So if we integrate ds, it will equal to 2 pi r and when we calculate b, 2 pi r divides on the right side and b equals to mu naught i over 2 pi r. So here we conclude that when a current flows through a conductor, it generates a magnetic field and when this current is a current flowing through that wire and an Amperian surface is enclosing that wire and the current enclosed is equal to this current I. Understand what conduction current is. It was simple. It is simple that it is a conducting current flowing through any conductor. So now we move on toward the displacement current. Before moving to the displacement current, come have a look on a capacitor. You know that in a capacitor we have parallel plates. So what happens in that parallel plates that when, when you connect terminals with that plates, it induces charge and because of that charge electric field flows from positive plate to the negative plate. So this electric field you can see on your screen that current I is flowing from first plate to the second plate and there is no physical conductor between those plates then how how this current is flowing in between this so Ampere's law cannot give as the answer for that that how this capacitor flows current there is no wire no conductor and uh, and how this current flows so Maxwell figured out that how this current flows he assumed a surface you can see on your screen a balloon like surface enclosing plate 1 this plate 1 is enclosed by that Amperian surface S2 such that the electric field is flowing through that. He gave us a formula for 
if he gave us a formula for this current which he called displacement current. He introduced this current as a displacement current. As we look at the formula of this displacement current, so ID is equals to epsilon naught partial by partial T of the electric flux. So when the electric flux changes with time, it means that when electric field changes with time over a surface area A, then it creates a change in electric flux with respect to time. So displacement current is a result of changing flux. So this was the current which allows overall current flows from one plate to another.